Hey guys, in this video, we'll be looking at what are flowcharts. Flowcharts are basically a visual presentation of a process or a program. Now, you know, when you're developing an application, it comprises of all these items involved in programming, like variables, conditional statements, loops, interacting with databases, functions. These are all the kind of items or ingredients you can say that is involved in writing a program. Now, what you can do is even before going and write the program, what you could do is you can create a flow chart, which represents the flow of the program. Here I have an example that I've taken that is printing whether a number is even or not. It's a simple example that I've taken here. So you know that in this process, you need to have a uh, option of taking an input from the user as to what the number is. And then we need to apply some kind of a logic and then take a decision. What would the logic be? I somehow need to determine whether the given number is a even number or an odd number. So for this, we can make use of the modulo operator and look at the reminder. If the reminder is zero, then I will say that, yes, it's an even number. If the reminder is not zero, that is, let's say one, then we know that it's an odd. Number. So this is basically the flow of the program. What we can do is we can represent this as a diagram. Let us see that here. This is an example of how a flow chart is going to look. There are symbols and each of the symbol represents something. You will be learning what is the meaning of these symbols, right? What are all the symbols that are there and what each of the symbol represents. So you have a parallelogram, which is representing an input and an output. It begins with an oval that is representing the starting of the code as well as ending of the code. A parallelogram is going to represent an input into your program. So I'm saying input number, and then a diamond is going to be representing decision making or a logic which evaluates to true or false. So I'm saying if the number mod two, that is, I'm using the modulo operator, which gives you the reminder. I'm saying if it is zero, if it is true, yes, then I want to output uh, a string which says even yes, the given number is an even number. And then I want to stop in case the condition is false. I want to print the output as odd and then I want to stop my program. So this is how generally a flow chart is going to be looking. And as a developer, what's going to happen is when you look at flow charts, you will be able to convert it to code while you're writing code. When you're programming, looking at a flow chart, you will be able to convert this into code. You will learn how in the future lessons. Um, again, it uses symbols of various kinds to represent a step. As you can see, we are using symbols of different kinds. Each of the symbol is representing a particular step. A diamond is representing that we have to take a decision right now. A parallelogram is representing that we are reading an input and or we are printing an output. And you can see that a flowchart is going to show you steps in sequential order one by one. And it is connected by an arrow. 